we know that the altogether R2 low and the ultra low. Ultra low are tumors with 10% or less tumor cells that are immune or active for R2. So R2 low and R2 ultra low altogether represent some 85% of uh, all the hormone receptor positive, R2 negative metastatic breast cancers. And this is the population of patients that has been enrolled in the Destiny Breast 6 trial. <coughs> Eligibility of the patient to the trial was based on central assessment of R2. But for more than 1,600 of uh, submitted samples, we had both the local and the central assessment thus enabling us to perform comparative analysis of the test results. 94% of the samples that were locally scored as R2 low actually were confirmed centrally to be R2 low or ultra low. Therefore, the patients were eligible for the trial. If we look at the percent positive agreement of the R2 low diagnosis, then the agreement between local and central was approximately 78%. It is not bad, but certainly can be improved by education and training of the pathologists. We were not able to elaborate on the uh, agreement for the ultra low population of patients because uh, uh, local uh, sites were not supposed to distinguish within the zero score those tumors with or without a membrane staining. So we couldn't do that. If we take all the samples that have been scored zero locally, at the central review, 40% of them actually were considered R2 ultra low, and 24% were considered low, R2 low. This implies that some 64% of all the tumors that have been locally classified as zero, actually they had some staining and those patients were eligible for the treatment. So my take home lesson is that since TDXD has proven to be effective, both in the R2 low and in the ultra low, it is very important that patients whose tumors have been scored zero in the past, they will be retested in order to see whether actually they are eligible for the treatment.